the Sabbath day. Happy Sabbath, PIC! Amen. As we begin our worship tonight, I invite everyone to bow your head as we pray. Almighty Father in heaven, we realize tonight, dear Lord, that we cannot offer thee anything. Dear Heavenly Father, the music or the worship that the angels and heavenly hosts are giving you is the perfect worship that they can give. And even if, dear Lord, even if we give you the best music here on earth, it will not level up to that music in heaven. But tonight, dear Lord, we understand that what is most important to you is a heart that is washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ. And so tonight, dear Lord, please cleanse us thoroughly with our sins and help us and fill us with your Holy Spirit that this worship tonight will truly be a sweet incense to your throne of grace. Sing with us tonight, dear Lord, and may your name be glorified, be lifted up, be magnified. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So there's no better theme of the song that we should sing but the love of Jesus Christ. So tonight you'll be starting by singing, I will sing of Jesus' love. And for this hymn, I would like to ask the congregation to sing the first stanza, the ladies to sing the second stanza, and the gentlemen to sing the third stanza. I will sing of Jesus' love, sing of Him. So tonight, let us joyfully stand and let us sing to God be the glory.
heads for a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for life. We thank you for guiding us throughout the week, and we thank you for the Sabbath. May you please have mercy upon us, and may you manifest yourself in our presence. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You may now take your seats. This evening, I will be singing the first song and the song is entitled, Welcome Remarks. And I will be singing from Psalms 92 and Psalms 98. Just a couple of verses from these Psalms as we all gather together to worship and to praise God. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness by night, with a ten-string lute and with a harp, with resounding music upon the lyre. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by what you have done. I will sing for joy at the works of your hands. Psalms 98. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. For he has done wonderful things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained the victory for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his loving kindness and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout joyfully to the Lord. All the earth, break forth and sing for joy and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with a lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with the trumpet and the sound of the horn. Shout joyfully before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all it contains, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy before the Lord. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. May the Lord bless us this evening as we worship our God. Amen.
the Bible tells stories of how God has blessed his people in so many ways. Wealth, health, happiness, and faith are just a few. We also, as people of the Most High God, have been blessed with so many things we cannot start to mention. Moses, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are examples of people who were blessed. But the greatest blessing is a meaningful experience with God. So I ask, why are you here tonight? Have you come to have yet another meaningful experience with God? Have you any burden to give to Jesus? Have you come to give thanks and praises for what he has done for you thus far? Or have you come to ask for God's will to be done? As we begin our worship through music this evening, we would like to invite the Lord's blessing upon each of us by faith, according to his will. In the wonderful name of our Father in heaven. And as he has blessed us and promised to bless us abundantly, may it be our prayer to be a blessing to others. God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship him in spirit and in truth. You, God, are my God. Earnestly, I seek you. 
I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. In a dry and parched land where there is no water, Jesus said to Thomas, I have told you this while I am still with you. However, the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything. He will remind you of everything that I have ever told you. John 14, verse 24 to 25.
For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Jesus has many names, and he deserves every title of distinction. The descriptive title before us today is no exception. Isaiah says, his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. He's not the angry counselor, the gruff counselor, or the disconnected counselor. He understands what we're going through and can advise us while he accompanies us through whatever we are facing. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, and yet without sin. Your 
When Jesus was born years back, heaven and earth, the angels and people alike could not understand what kind of love he had for his people. Many have had an encounter with him and they were ever forever changed. Then, what, then they couldn't help but tell to whoever came their way about his birth, life, death, and resurrection. His story is ever new. His love is everlasting.
in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them saying to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever his presence brings peace joy and love his presence lifts us up and gives us hope. As Hebrews 12 verse 28 reminds us, he then should be praised in reverence and awe. 